I didn't listen carefully. Francis Kahne Weißbier. Francis Kahne oh, Weißbier. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. I listen to the Dutch. It's like live. upper midfield, I would say. <laughs> we, are, we are live again. I've got the video feeds fixed, finally. That only took a minute. Sorry about that, anybody who's, uh, anybody who's watching who's not us. Um... No, I've been streaming for uh, 27 seconds now. There are, there are two people watching. Me. Yay! I am one. Steph is I'm the, the other. other. And Annie is. Annie I'm is, also there. Annie is one. You know right. what? Just give me, give me a second. I'm just going to put it on my TV. <laughs> and poor Evandal over there suffering through me doing all this and. His back is killing him. I cannot you hear you. I hear your music blaring in the background. You cannot hear me. You're it whispering. Sad. It's like you're a whisper on stream. Okay, well I've turned it up on stream. So hopefully you can hopefully you can hear me now. I'm I'm maxing out at like negative ten BB. So, if anyone's just tuning in and trying to figure out why the hell I'm dressed like this, we decided to have a Halloween episode since we missed Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy November the 3rd. When we left off, our party had been to Asmar. They had collected a uh, an amulet that looked like a half-melted human skull that is uh, apparently the uh, the talisman of Gitek. From there, they had gotten some strange messages from the dwarf uh, Bullman Cask Forge, which they immediately ran off to the Narrows to see what was going on there, to discover that uh, to discover that uh, well, what was going on there was some of the people had abandoned uh, Nithor's army and had decided to try and help defend the dwarves by building a another wall before the Dwarven Wall. <laughs> From there, the party, after figuring all of that out, stepped away down into Shadowvale, to the Shadowvale Inn, for some nice rest and relaxation, and deciding on what they were going to do next. Let's see, you guys were here. We will preload the scene. And we will activate the scene. And here we are. Okay, so here's everybody at the Shadow Vale Inn. Here. What would you guys like to do? And go. Hmm. I believe we still had no clue on the next Shadow Lord, and we have no clue how to use the medallion that we uh, grabbed. Yeah, what were the um, the conditions of the talisman? Oh, you mean the one that you mean the amulet that Nithar left? Exactly, yeah, that one amulet. Well, I don't think we can touch it. Slavic had uh, looked like he was in a lot of pain when he touched it. Yeah, that's that's what I said. We have no way of using it right now to contact the other Shadow Lords or find out where where they are. So right now we're a little bit more or less lost on what to do next because we have no clue what they are doing, where they are. Yeah, we could go to one there's, of their cities. That's a possibility. There's also the other parts of Hope. Yeah, so we have... Um... Nightshade might be on the Isle of the Lost and trying to get the other books. Possibly. 
but um, whenever should... she's she is using one of the books, I believe Alu is is uh, gonna yes, feel yes, that. Yes, yes, but wouldn't me. it be better if she didn't didn't get to use them in the first place? Like, we could try to stop her doing we that. Have no clue where on the Isle of the Lost. That a pretty big isle. That too, but also there's this guardian, the Snoya monster that the also snake like enslaved thing. everyone. Yeah. So that's gonna be a problem. But like that's the one possibility. Then there's the yeah. uh hope part four, which is in the Temple of Helm in Rock Summit. We could <clears throat> potentially try and get that one because I think the last one is um with Artis. And Glavuri said he'll give us his if we have the others. And I feel like we shouldn't go to Artus first. I feel like we should have the others before we go to Artus. You know? That is true, but Artus also is a ni more or less a nice guy. Oh, right, you met him. I forget. We, yeah, we met him. Do you, think, a... do you think we could just go there and like, hey, be like, hey, Artus, bro, look, we've already got three parts. You want to give us more? Uh, I'm not, not sure. He's not a bad guy, but I'm also not sure that he will just say, here, take it. I don't yeah. need it anymore. Do you think we should go to the Temple of Helm and try to get the, the one from there? That sounds more or less reasonable. And then we can still go to Artis and try to convince him that he can, he, when he gives us the last part, that we can uh, avenge what he couldn't do the last time. Yeah, it's a bit of a touchy subject for him, is it not? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> ah, oh, yes. He course, was a chosen legend. one and he didn't do it and stuff like that. Yeah. Not, not, not an easy topic. No, I was going to say, it's really kind of a last minute situation is to go and visit yeah. him, is it not really? There's also yeah. the question of like, you remember what? Um, oh God! What was his name? The 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 man in Asma uh, in God's home said. I I forget his name. Um, but the guy who had all uh, uh, Akra, Akra, I think, he had uh, the guy with all the books, and he mm -hmm. told us that he he thinks um, prevention would be better than attacking everything once it's happened so like stop the shadow lords before we yeah before Gitek even happens which i think was agreed on at the time i don't know if it's still a thing i believe so, it's... Like, would you prioritize hope or the shadow lords like what do you think for me personally i would prioritize the shadow lords when we have any idea any clue where they are and not just like a, a big landmass where we know they are on but uh, more or less a specific place where where they are right now we are just Looking for the needle in hay. It's like we have no clue where they are, what they are doing. We could go to their cities and try to get into their network. Get one person who knows, then the next person, then the next person. Like, we just have to go to the city. I'm sure we'll yeah. find something once we're there. But, but I'm also pretty sure that they all have, like... Like, Nitho had her really close one that only only they knew what, they, what, what she really planned. Everyone else was, yeah. like, also more or less... Had no idea what she was. Sure, yeah, but people might know who those people are, right? Yeah, true, true. So, like, it's a chain. There's a possibility. Uh, I would be open to like... going for hope, and I will, would be open to doing that. Alu, what are you thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking... Um, <clears throat> let me just find this in a long discussion. Um... If we're looking for information, you might want to check, and I turn to Evendal. Well, actually, I don't know. He's in Penumbra, so I don't know if I can see him because he's a Gloomstalker. But I just say maybe we could uh, ask Evendal's father. He. I don't know what he knows, but he's... I think he's in, he's investigate. I think he's yeah. investigating one of them, the Nefadius or Nefadius. The one that is in the Elven Islands. That it's at the same time the one that we know the least about. Yeah, the guy with the demon arm. 
or Devil Army or whatever it is. Yeah. I think it was a Demon Army. Who killed his yeah. father and brothers or whatever. Yeah. It, like you I can try to contact, yeah. I can maybe with Sam can send a message or a bird or a letter. Can try to contact and see what he knows. Didn't you say your father was a farmer, darling? Yes. He is more a scholar of biology mm -hmm. and the agricultural fields, but I also didn't know he appears to double in some personal research in mm -hmm. the matters of Gitech. But I got by surprise also when I find out found out. I'm sure you did. I do not believe you for one second, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so. for sure, yeah, for sure I can I look to Sam, like with maybe your help. Can help me contact him. Sure, I can give you a paper, but because I don't know the person. Um, if, I'll have, if you have a look do through get the book. In touch, if you do get in touch, just ask how Valna is. Uh, Valna? Who is Valna? If I can ask? Well, she was. She was working with your dad when I checked in on God's home. Said you wizard mentor. She's my mom. Oh, right. Your mom? No, she's in the islands. Then. <clears throat> That's what they told me in God's home. No, uh, okay. Yeah, yes. Uh. They had a weird, I don't know the word, but a, a, a spyglass, a weird spyglass implement. And, uh, well, I, I don't know why, but my mom's been dead, or so I've been told, and I just wanted to know what she looked like, and it, they, oh, in God's home, they showed me she was working with, I think, your father, or someone who looks like you, maybe your brother? Um, was older, or, you, you assume it was my father, you don't, you never saw my father. Uh, well, older, I assume it was your father who was a bit older, yes, but... Okay, I can give, I can ask, no, that's not a problem, but... Yeah, it, uh... Yes. It would be so funny if all of our parents were working on the same project. <laughs> so funny. Because I know my parents are on the Elven Isles, on the Crest Isles, I know. And they're doing something for, for the rebellion. Your, your but I don't parents? know who they're working with. Who? Your parents are in the Elven Islands too? Uh, well, yes, I uh, I also found out in God's Home, which is, um, yeah, funny coincidence. Uh, oh, twist. But it's not, as, it's, not a bit, it's not as big a thing because I knew, like, they were probably... Anyway, it would be so funny if they all worked together. I, well, if they are together, they are south of the Crescent they, Isles. Yes, that's the last information I had, that my father went south. Oh, they're not on the... Oh, they're not. They're not. Well, oh Forget it. once again, the information they gave me in God's home, as I'm assuming they do, they are prone to, was cryptic. But I know she was... I know she was with a group of people in the Crescent Isles far to the south. Okay. Okay, we can 
Definitely. I can definitely check. Do you? What are you, your parents' name, Flynn? You want to check too? Oh, um, huh. I I don't know what names they would be going under right now, actually. But uh, if it's the real name, it is uh, Telwan. Telwan is uh, is my father, and um, uh, Sola. Okay, Telwan, Sola, and Valn. Uh, Valna. Valna. V a l n a. Okay. I think it's. I think it's. No, it's Sola with an S. Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I will for sure ask. And I'll ask for... Ah, thank you. I'll ask for, with the help of Sam, what is going on in the island being... Um, and now I look to the DM. <laughs> How long has it been since last time we contact them in game? Oh. I would say a couple of weeks or maybe yeah. a month? Yeah, I'd say it's close to the month mark since the last time you tried to contact your father. A month, okay. Okay, yeah, it's a good time to um, write. Maybe, like, if you tell me what, what we were doing when you last contacted him, I could look up in the log. Like, I have ah. a nice table, remember? I if have no idea. <laughs> okay, then it's, it's, <laughs> and let's put it this way it's been a minute <laughs> yeah I, it's I, like the table goes back a month in game that's why I'm... I think it was more or less when we came back from God's home after ah, okay. but I that, don't that's just like two weeks ago <laughs> in game God's home was two weeks ago in game yeah, really? uh, well we no, traveled down the mountain for one whole week so it's actually got some was three weeks ago, but the traveling down the mountain was one whole week. Really? Okay. Damn, that's yeah. a big ass mountain. Yeah. Yep. If I was actually physically there, that would have been two hours. Yeah. Yeah. I've been <laughs> listening and enjoying your shenanigans for half an hour now. Mm. Well, that's a that's bullshit a because hit. you were on the phone. No, I'm chatting with the DM. <laughs> He's just pretending to have work calls. He's just doing private business in the background. No, no, no. I was in the call before that. So, do you think uh, Erath Sheras is the way to go? We could also try to go to Witchshore for Nightshade. Dismantle her network. She's probably really helpful to those guys if we get rid of her. We'll also get rid of the problem with the books because likely the other ones might not know where they are. She's the driving force between that, uh, behind that. Also, Nithor is very happy about doing something against Nightshade, and before she escapes us, we could probably use her best against her. Just an idea. Maybe we can try to start by assessing what kind of forces are available in Asma, what kind of harbor they can provide to the pirate ships. And once we have that assessment, we can either have a go around the Crest Island. I can bring everybody here. I know quite the place. Um, or we go somewhere else. But if everybody's parents are working together, I mean, let's go. You know the Crescent Island? I'm from there. Oh. You what? <laughs> Your parents are there too? <laughs> no, <they're laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, yes, they are, but they are very oh my dead. God. Are you sure? Okay, because Flynn, parents are... well, you know. Flynn parents were like. Uh, it's Livic parents, she, he thought. I'm uh, sorry. Aloof parents, he thought they were. His mom. Flynn, no, yeah, so. but I. I I saw them died, so... Yeah, but, but there's a necromancer hanging out on the this, island. Like, nah, there's nah, a ton nah. of lichens around swimming. <laughs> you know how it is. Nah. They could be vampires for all nah, we nah, know. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I'm okay. pretty sure. They, you, these at some point, the body has been there for so long that it decomposes, so... Yeah, but yeah. the soul... <laughs> 
Tommy, what about have... your parents? Where are we, your parents? We don't, we, we don't have salt. Not on any aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they, though? Are you sure? They could have moved. I'm 100% sure. A million percent. When did you last see them? <laughs> the Oakwood. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the Oakwood about, what, five years? A little bit more? Yeah, but five six. years is a long time. Like, when I saw yeah. my parents and asked, yes. they were living near Asma. They're no, clearly no, no, no. not there anymore. There's no way they would leave the Oakwood. No way. Oh. They are the protectors <laughs> of the Oakwood. They are the guardians. No chance. <laughs> In hell. Why did you leave the Oakwood? Because, because there was... Because the uh, no, nah, not really. Because there was a problem in the Oakwood and I needed other people to help me. Easy way was to just go help in Shadowvale and recruit the people that helped me there. And then we saved the Oakwood and now I'm here. Should we just go to Arzma, having some enjoying some shopping? I'm looking at Flynn. Can you still teleport today? I thought you said you could only do tomorrow. Ah. Uh, well. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> I totally can today. I totally can today. Well, you can or you can't? I can. He can. Did, why did we even go to this? We, we walked all this way. Okay. So, no, I get it. Okay. So, listen. I, I know. Like, okay. And we took we took a walk. I get it. We took a walk. I calmed down. And I'm it's sorry. It's two hours. I'm sorry. I just, I behaved like a, like a bitch. I was an asshole to all of you. And I apologize. I was just really disappointed because I just thought I would be able to see this person in real life that I really wanted to see for some time, and I thought then I couldn't, so then I was horrible to you all, and uh, it was not right to let my anger out on you, and I'm sorry. Please accept my apology and forgive me. If not, I understand. You're not the first person in the group to try to assault or get pissed at the others because of some reason. Yeah, but I still don't don't want don't like being that like that. I don't want to be. Like that. I'm sorry. Sound very I mean, hey, When I do it, it's because a sword tells me to. True. <laughs> we know. True. Murder. Yeah, that's true. We true. all know that, and we love you. Yeah, when when Alu does it, there's outside influence. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> we know that we love you, and we accept you. I just nod sheepishly. <laughs> I, was, I was looking. I was looking at a loose character sheet there a minute ago. Man, he's got some. He's got some stuff in his pocket. I forgot all about. <laughs> uh, speaking of a loose pocket, oh no. Um, I found the uh, belt in uh, foundry, but even when I equip it, it doesn't change my strength. I don't know if that's something you need to activate on your end or not. Do you did you attune it? Because you need to attune well, to be able to. That's fair, but I don't know how to attune it. I don't oh. know if there's a button. Yeah, there is. So what, what's your strength standard? Nineteen, right? Well, without the gauntlets of ogre power, it should be thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, well, that's okay. still the question, so, uh, DM. So let me let me let me let me teach Lou how to do this real quick. So what you do is you go to your item. Okay. You click okay. on you click on the little spanner wrench for edit the item. It's under edit, okay? Okay, you go to the details. Yeah. And and you will see there it's got a slot for attunement. It says attunement required. You'd use the drop down and you change that to attuned. Ah. Uh. And let's see if, let's see if that automatically changes it. If not, the item is broken. <laughs> if, if, uh, not, I, if not, I can fix it. No, but that might be because in details there was something that was not ticked, which was proficient. Should I check? Should I uh, uh, it's, check proficient? It's, it's not a weapon. You don't have to be proficient with it. 
that's that's okay. Watch this. DM powers activate. Oh, your strength is now twenty five. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stone boy. <laughs> cool. He picks yes, up his he you. picks up his tankard of ale and it just sort of slowly collapses in his hand while he stares at it. He goes, "Oops." <laughs> <laughs> and instead it pokes a hole in the roof and it just that now the, there's a new satellite hot but, yeah no I was I was looking in a loose pockets some of the things he's got going on in here man he's got some items I ain't thought about in a minute he's got some nice stuff in those pants um, I, I still have the a question <laughs> about yes um, question if you, uh, well, like in this game, if you want to, if you potentially, I'm still not sure I want to do this, but if you potentially want to multi-class into a certain class, but you only have the requirement ability score because of an item, can you still multi-class or can you not because it's an item and it's not technically your actual ability okay, score? Okay, so I, I did look into this for you. I remember you asking me this and I did oh, yeah. look into this for you and the answer is no. Oh yeah. Okay. You, Just you must, make sure it's not. A, you it's must, not really important. But. You must naturally have the the yeah. statistics. Otherwise, if for some reason you take off the item, you yeah would right. Lose it doesn't that make class. sense. Yeah. Okay. That's you, actually you know, a really good question. Yeah, no, it's a really good question. You know, I always say my my favorite saying everywhere is the only stupid question is the one you don't ask. Yeah. 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 I'd never yeah. thought of that question. That's honestly really good. Yeah, it's real. It's it's uh, it doesn't matter because we have Alu, so we're fine. I'm just putting all my hopes in you now. Uh, and Alu, as far as the things in your pockets, um, I was checking out your your private notes. Ah, <laughs> you can see those. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, the yeah, DM. Yeah. I can see everything. <laughs> supposed to be private sorry twitch i used the f word no it's it's private from everybody else <laughs> oh no what other okay, stuff okay so 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 oh, Lou, so you've if, seen the detailed sunday stream dreams i've written in there yes but i didn't <laughs> share but i didn't share them with twitch so but what you, what you oh, have no. to remember all the is, fan fiction you wrote think, in of, it, yeah. think, think of it like a think of it like a a, a three-story building on the first floor are the players. On the second floor are the NPCs. On the third floor are the gods. And then way up there where the Starlink satellites go around is me. <laughs> you, you should have known, uh, Meerkat, that he has read the wet dream of Sundays. I mean, he's wearing the wig today. Mm. Don't, be, don't be jealous. You should see what it's doing to my desk. <laughs> 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 right, so I'm moving on. So are we gonna teleport in the evening or in the morning? <clears throat> no, I no, cannot teleport morning. today. I cannot teleport today. Inside check. <laughs> yep, inside check. First roll of the night, here he, we go. He said he would, but Oh, Flynn ain't standing for this bullshit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hang on. Yep, whoop, hang on. Let's get that hang deception on. roll in there. You have one in 20. <laughs> With my plus zero. <laughs> He's definitely gonna roll in that 20, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's what happens with Don't Abaddon. Be. Guaranteed. Why does he doesn't want to do it? What, what am trying, I missing? What are you trying to roll? Deception? Yeah. Would you like me to ask you for it? Yeah, I, why is it not rolling? I'm clicking. What did I... Deception. There you go, there's a button in the... Uh... Your thing's sky high, maybe that's got something to do with it? it, it it's alright, yeah. Slivy. One in five men. Mm. You know, You know he likes to ask you for it. 
the dungeon mess. Ah, okay. I am not lying. You can't do it. Nope. <laughs> right. It's earlier you should have asked me about deception. Nice one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Happy. He was so good. I was like, um, um, Steph, you're the ex you're the expert on these. What's the what's the word count on a magic bird? Isn't it like fifty? No, twenty five. Magic like any other spelling same as sending. magic bird. No, magic no, bird no, magic, is fifty. Magic bird is fifty. I think. Sending is twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I just want I made I wanted to make sure. Paper bird is fifty. Yeah, paper bird is fifty. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, Andy. Yeah. Uh, you're counting my message. Yeah, yeah. I was checking your message. Ah, I, I, I use word counter, so it's fifty. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, Cheater! Yeah. <laughs> Cheater! Uh, oh, <laughs> that means I nerfed the paper birds in my campaign. I should fix that. We have to try. I, I wasn't aware. I thought I did it proper. Okay, I will fix it then. You know, uh, it's, one, it's one of the reasons that I like to offer paper birds. Uh, because, well, it offers you 50 words. Free sending. But no. well, it offers you 50 words, but they can't just immediately reply. Yeah, yeah, free sending, but slow. Yeah, it's, it's technically snail mail. Let's see. Do, 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 it's do, like do, having do. a pen pal. I just gave my players <laughs> ravens. Trained ravens that they can use in the set, okay. like in this specific area. All right, I'll. Is that no you breaking stuff or is that the cat breaking stuff? But they only have five ravens. <laughs> it's you breaking stuff. Okay. But from Shadow Veil to where he is, maybe it's a couple of days. Yeah, no, it's, it's that one's gonna that one's gonna take a minute. Yeah. Mm. Guillaume, Guillaume, it, it says fifty in my uh, inventory. Yeah, or, but I uh, think I said something. Campaign. Yeah, I think I just say something different to Balagos, so I need to fix that because he used twenty-five. I will. Okay. I will address it at the table on Sunday. It's fine. Retcon. <laughs> no, he just didn't use the full amount of the paper bird. So yeah, no. that's fine. All right. Well, if we have to stay here for tonight, um, Alu, there was something you want to talk to me about at some point, and I forget how many days ago that was. I think it was one or two. Is that still a thing that you need to talk about? I look discreetly at Evendor. I look yeah, at him like, oh. <laughs> I again. did say that. Everybody's the problem fine. is, uh, I as a player have no fun. <laughs> it was when uh, you, like, out of game, it was when you listened in on uh, Sam and Flynn having their conversation and they're the secret. Okay, no. But it was no. like after after I went with you to the to the armory, you looked out, you got your armor, we talked about Slivic and how he needed, like, okay, emotional fine. support, and we also That's talked fine. about... That's fine. That's fine. I, I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, yeah. I do. Um, okay. I scooch closer to Slivik and like, do you have an invisibility spell? <laughs> <laughs> Those pictures. And I'm like this, and I cast invisibility on both of us. <laughs> Damn it. I'm assuming after we're gone though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going, Alu? I'm here. Oh, like it was something that everybody could. Okay, okay, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Oh, sorry, I, I don't see the map. Oh, where? I don't see Flynn. Oh, there's Flynn. <laughs> Tommy just looks confused. The moment Slivik and Evandor just disappear out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't have a clue either, Tomia. I don't know yeah. what they're going about. Tomia just looks yeah. around and then looks at Sam like, 
What? He's John Travolta me. Why? Like he's like. I thought you <laughs> yeah. might have a better idea what that's about. No. No. But I can turn invisible too if that's just a thing we do now. <laughs> just sit somewhere and they. Whoop! I'm gone. Uh, okay, then I'll just sit here by myself then. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna stay here. I have no clue what they are doing. Everybody left. Who's going to pay the bill? We just left Sam there. Yeah, okay. Leave the cleric behind. She'll do it. <laughs> this is the best way to get out of Who knows what the two of them are doing? They seem pretty close in the last few days. Well, it's it's oh. going to invisible, so you never know what they're doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe they are just like that. Love you know, being in a public know. space and. They hold hands, they disappear. God yeah, knows what up to. yeah, who knows? Who knows what? You know, no, I would know, but there you are. I'm, I'm not judging. No. But mm, it's a little bit weird. As long as they're happy. What happens when you're invisible stays invisible. <laughs> Maybe that's why some is a bit more male this week. Oh, yeah. He, he seems a little bit more happy and relaxed all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, my God, no. Be the reason. Oh, no. Ah, no, but, you know, we'll see what happens, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to mention that to anybody else. No, 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 no. But I'm saying that they could still be sitting here because they're invisible. They unless... could still be here. Yeah, maybe they're just bullshit. Possible. But it would also have been nice to just say to us, hey, we're just going to leave and not just... Yeah. Bam. And they are gone. Mm-hmm. We'll see that's what happens. Just rude. Didn't even finish their drinks. Oof. Oh well. Maybe they'll come back for them after ten minutes. Who knows? Hopefully. Mm-hmm. By the way, if we are just going over to a different table in the same tavern, wouldn't we notice that they suddenly go invisible? Yes, we would. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think they're having, like, a thing going? I've never seen Slavic as a person who would be romantically interested in anyone, but I mean, Evan does a really hot guy. So, well, that he is. Um, but Slavic is a disgustingly dirty old dog, but not in that way. Not in an invisible way. In a much way. more perverse way. And I mean, he's a gnome. The only other gnome I knew was, uh... Well, she was freaky because she was a pirate. For... But yeah. No, I wanted to ask you. Wait. If we combine Evandor's criminal energy with Slavic's brain, they're probably around here somewhere and I start feeling around. <laughs> I don't want them less than good on any private stuff. Probably too far away. Okay, I mean, well, maybe, you... I, maybe I was being paranoid, I'm sorry. And you see a Lou kind of sigh. Oh, can I see anything with my eye thing? By the way? Uh, no, that doesn't allow you to see invisible creatures. Okay, so no, like, kind of true sight, kind of aura thing? No, no. Ah, oh, goddammit. I don't like asking yes, this, but can you, can you talk, can you speak in my head? Can you hear in your head? Good idea. And you see me kind of make a weird face for like half a second i'm like not again uh i wanted to ask you uh i lose not eating i am um back in the armory in his dinner with boss when i was trying this out and because Alu isn't isn't used to talking in his head, he naturally he naturally just kind of uh, you know showcases the armor a bit, so they will interpret it however they will. But he just yeah. subconsciously does it. Um, you said I saved your daughter, or I helped save your kid. 
What is up with that? Um, indirectly, because I pay for her living situation. So if I die, she's all alone and no one else would pay for her to, to have some food, to have shelter, everything. Like, it would be a basic level, but... Is this why you do what you do? To afford... To, to make sure she can live comfortably? I want to make the world a better place for her, kind of. I did things in the past that I regret. And, and you, you see a lose face immediately drop. What? What? Come on. Sorry, did I do something? No, sis. You don't look too happy with this. Sorry, I didn't. Mm. I didn't know it showed. Go on. Which, which part is wrong? I tend to... I didn't have the easiest childhood, so when I hear, well, parents not being great, kind of... I didn't do anything to her. And my face livens up. I... I have nine charisma, so I am pretty readable. I... I would never, I would never hurt her ever. This is the, this is the worst thing that I'm doing, staying away. I, I wish I could be with her every day and take care of her directly and we could live together and I don't know, have a nice little house and I could just like go to work and come home and be a good dad like other good dads are, but instead I'm a musician, you know, but I try. Right? I try to, and I, there's a reason I never have money. I give it, I send it there. So, so she has it. So the other kids have it. Um, she's in an, uh, she's being, well, I thought she was being taken good care of until Jax came around and told us about this. Um, well, you know how Reg, the, the guy who saved Osmar, he's running uh, the orphanage that she is uh, living in while I am trying to save the world for her. Um, but apparently he's not been taking as good care of them as he should have been. So I'm going to have a word with him about it, but I'm hoping that she wasn't involved in that. She's only like four years old. She's too small to be a spy. He, he wouldn't have used hope, but he shouldn't have used any child for that. Her name is Hope? Her name is Rosalie. Rosie. If he's done anything, let us know. Oh my. Let's see, maybe it, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I'm just overreacting and he didn't do it after all. Jack's misunderstood. And then I'm just gonna just look at you, turn and put my hand on your shoulder and say in your head, I think we should go back, but For what it's worth, I think you try to be good, and that counts for something. Yes, well... One day... 
you will be the first, probably, to know the whole story. And I hope that you still think the same. Just nod. And I am going to go back, but I'm going to take a step to the right. And if I bump into someone, I do bump into someone. I'm going to go over here and try and if I find someone, like, if I go back like this, on the other side of those tables. <laughs> nope. Uh, Sam, where, where, hmm. What are they doing? What, what, what? What is who doing? What? Aren't we missing two people? Oh, yeah. Just give me a second. And Tommy just touches his bow and casts through sight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm over here. When I realized there was no conversation to hear, we'd have just sit by the fire. Okay. And where's, where's well, Evandor? I don't know. I just remembered. Yeah. Uh, and when I was a bit closer in the side. Uh, let me see the map. Uh, yeah, he, was, he was definitely nearby. <laughs> yeah, I, I was much near. More near, like, trying to read the, the expressions then from... Oh, well, and... I don't think you would have needed any insight because I wasn't hiding it. You would have read my facial expressions like a book. Even that worse, makes... like a children's book. <laughs> but I saw, like, you're showing yourself, you're, like, surprised, you're being become calm. So, yeah. But I was more or less close. Okay, yeah. Tommy just looks at Slivik and then looks at Evandor and just questions in the room. Um, what what are the two of you doing? A little bit louder so every, everyone can hear it. Slivik's obviously warming himself by the fire. Yeah. Warming I'm actually himself? reading a book. No, no. I'm reading a book. Just calm down. And may I ask why you are reading that book invisible? Is, is there... <laughs> Something interesting in that book that we aren't supposed to read. No. Uh, technical question, like in game mechanics, if I'm invisible and I have a book, it becomes invisible. Can I read it? Do no, I because see myself? He was with me. He was with me so. as long, as but can you part. read? Can you see yourself when you are invisible? I think his question is, is, is valid. I want to know this too. I think any equipment that you have on you when the spell is cast, you can see anything of your own. You can't see, like, yeah. Slivic So stuff, can you but... see your own hands when you go invisible? It's the same question. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can't see me. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I had true sight this whole time. I just needed to scry on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll go uh, after. Oh, uh, that, that was that was a question I had for Flynn. I I can't remember. Mm -hmm. The uh, the uh, orb of scrying that you have. Yes. Um, Did you ever attune to that or try and attune to it? I should have. But yeah, I did, like, after I got it, it was a bit weird because they got it while I wasn't in a session where I wasn't okay. there. Okay. But afterwards, I said I would attune to it. I okay. didn't, so I don't know I've, if I put it in because I've, I didn't know how to put it. Yeah, I've, I, I should have told you because I, I don't, I don't remember you saying right off. Because you can use it without attuning to it. It just changes things a little bit. But the, uh, okay. uh, you, re you remember that it's incredibly heavy. Yeah, are my attunement slots full already without it? Because I don't think so. Is my loot attunement? I don't think so. Well, you've got the, let's see, you've got the loot of 
bashing. I don't think that requires attunement, does it? I don't think so. I have the gauntlets, I have the ring of protection, and I have the uh, crystal ball. That's my three swap. All right, you, you, because you pulled the you pulled the cloak, which is not attunement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, anyways, you remember that the crystal ball itself is incredibly heavy. Yep, I can um, carry it because of my gauntlets. I think. At least until you attune to it, and then it's as light as a feather. Oh, that's neat. Uh, okay. <sighs> It's a uh, it's a specialty item. <laughs> All right, so um, now what? Af after um, yeah, everybody come back. Oh, just I don't know if I can drop the spell or no. It's a slavic thing. But you I can just know. if you make an attack or you do something. Yeah, but oh, I don't know. I, I just want to go. I don't know this if, how to stop this spell. I don't know. Cast a cantrip. Try and backstab tower. I don't down. have cantrip. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and now, if Livik went away, I cannot see him. So, I, so I'm like a ghost walk, like, oh shit. You I just know, wanted to buy some beer now. You'd always try and just backstab Tormir. <laughs> Wait, what? I'll shoot random. It's going to have the same effect. Yep. <laughs> yeah, throw, throw your queen's feather dagger across the room. <laughs> yeah, but I don't... Do, would I know it, but... Okay. I'm sure I'm sure Slivic would have told you the way the spell works. Uh, yeah, I'll try, like, to... To just... Punch or, like, do... Throw, a, throw the dagger in the floor or something to become visible. Yeah, it would work. Yeah. No. I I'll just go uh, in the bar, take a bunch of beer for everyone, and go back to the table. Okay. And I'll just look to Slivik. Uh, if Slivik is around. No, I'm still invisible. He's still invisible. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. So I'll just shout for him, like if he's around. And Slivik, there's something for you here. What is it? Uh, I have to come to see. I, or... It's Evendal. Do you Just expect what? me to take... Where, where are you? Should I make an inside check to see if they're really a thing? <laughs> Based on Evendal's reaction, because that's the thing I can see. Uh-uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just have like in two for for you. I put them beer, and I have two very similar mugs of beer, one in each hand. And just mm -hmm. I'm just looking for Slivik, <laughs> like uh, when I see it's a beer, I try to hide even if I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm just like. It's not funny the second time, Slivik. You can choose which one you want if you, if you want. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh, I can hear him. He's he's over by the by the by the fireplace. I think. Yeah. Is he still you, drunk? You can cast your spell and that and see which one you want if you want. It's beer. You said you like it. The taste. It clouds my judgment. Do you want with me to send you to the ethereal plane instead of going to? Asma. Could be, but you can choose which one you want. If you want the magic no, one or the normal one. No, thank you. Appreciate. Okay. More, and then I put more for us. And I'll go back to the table. And give like one extra to <coughs> Tormir. <laughs> Wait, so how did you get him to get drunk in the first... Did you use those? What? What's the? What's that about? About who? You got Slivic drunk. We all know it. We all saw it. How? 
just took some convincing and making him not notice that he was drinking. No, he switched yes. the cup. That's what he did. Uh, Come on, Civic. disembodied boys. Get your and disembodied ass to the table and drink your beer without alcohol. I remember that you like it, but it, it's... I, I'm just telling it's not fun. The, if you know already, it's not fun the second time, so I'm just it's, giving it, you the choice. I appreciate it. Okay. Alu didn't know this because he wasn't there. So yep. he's going to have a look of genuine concern at the word Slivik got drunk and, you know, there's a tankard of alcohol waiting for him. <laughs> he's like, genuinely, oh shit. Ever though you hear in your head, I, you know, I could modify his memory still. And you could do it again. Nah, it, it, I would say, with pardon of the expression, it lost the magic. It's, it was one and all. It was one time only. But Are you into him, though? Oh, yeah, I enjoy it. It's a little bit enjoyed, like, too. Are you into he... him? I, this is still telepathically. <laughs> oh. Uh, but in... I'm weaving oh. my eyebrows at you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not, not, not like that. No. Inside I'm... check. <laughs> I made one before, but I'm assuming okay. that I just found. Uh, I don't know if I roll something. But it's even better. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know in this case if I roll it, just be known it, but... Yeah. yeah I just guess so you, just... you don't know what happened, but... Yeah. In case. No. But... Well, sure, sure. <laughs> Sorry, guys, the wig had to go. I'm... I'm sitting here literally just pouring sweat. <laughs> it's too warm. <laughs> He's still not. I don't understand Slivik. He like it, but he don't want to admit it. But it's okay. He is a strange little man. Don't think too much into it. No, no, not thinking. It, it's just a bit of fun. And what are the plans for the rest of the night? I'm gonna me, work a bit. To bed. And okay, um, I will just go quickly send the the bird, uh, and if, see the direction. I know more or less where we are. It is still going to to the Crescent Islands direction, more or less. Yeah, it's still headed directly so, that way. To the west. Okay. And my take... I have no idea. A couple of days? More? Less? It's far. It's far. To get any answer, so... We'll, we'll have... Yeah some time, or we can... I don't know what to do. I do want to ask you a private question, Evandal. So I'll oh. just, like, look for you when you're not... when people are not around. You you said in my mind, or in front of everyone? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, I was assuming that I was going to, like, look for you later when people are... Ah, okay. ...spread out somewhere. Oh, when you're like going to get a drink. Okay, yeah, at some let's point. Say, let's say we're going to get a drink at the same time. Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, God, we're the only ones getting a drink at the same time. Oh. Um, <laughs> just like, hey, I have a, I need some advice. Um, okay. What is the topic? Romance. Uh, okay, I I can give a shot. You sound like you know things. Like hmm? 
this was half a question, but I'm not going to actually answer, ask the question. So like, okay, so, um, so right. Um, I may seem like I've done this before, but I have not really done this before. So like, uh, how do you think one should go about asking a fellow party member out, even though they feel about you like a brother? Okay, when you say these words, like, my head, like... <laughs> so, you feel like a brother or someone No, they, they, from they your... said I was like, you know, they said I was like a brother for them, so like... Oh. It's kind of awkward, but, <laughs> but I really want to ask them. Are you me. a brother to them? Like, as far as I know, no. As far as I know, I don't... You... Anyway... No, not not a brother to them. Okay. I know. <laughs> no, we're not related, as far as I know. Oh, okay. Then, like, okay, you are not related <laughs> to to this person, and you would like to ask out. I. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe just like try and ask. Like, it's not. It's probably not going to be a thing anyway. But I still want to ask, like, because I want to try. Yeah. Uh, what What do you think I should do? Do you uh, think I don't have a chance at all once they say it, like that's forever, or like should I still try? And you will only know after asking. And I don't know. We are here for the night. We, we'll, from what appears, we, it's calm. We are not fighting anyone. Uh, if, if you are in the spirit, just ask. Oh, it's like, I don't know. I feel like it has to be kind of like more a special place than this. And uh, The wine I mean, here is really good. I know, but I don't want to just get drunk. I, I really mean it. Ah, you like, don't I have think enough. I really cool. I but... think really cool. Like, I just, but I, it... I really respect and admire them. I don't want to get them drunk. You know, I want them to like me sober. <laughs> yeah, but just one bottle. And believe me, you told me you don't have any money and one bottle is, I think, more than you can afford. No, I have but... enough. I mean, oh, God, no, Shadow Veil Ryan's really expensive. No. <laughs> so, anyway. Me... Yeah, but just believe. I think someone told me they can be a better person just being what, who they want to be. And with alcohol, not with alcohol, but you can be well, whoever you want to be. You see and... a hundred gold appear on the yeah. table. <laughs> what the fuck, Slavic? <laughs> no, 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 business. no. You don't it's see me. Not, it's not your yeah, you don't see me. God, get away. You don't <laughs> see me. No, I don't see you. I'm probably talking to the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> so the, 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 there is like oh yeah I think what else you need more indication I think this is a good moment what you uh, uh, panic <laughs> yeah uh, but I, I think like with some ambience should okay. uh, the, is the but I think little, that's a... Okay, takes notes. Okay, alcohol, ambience. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, I think, it, like, I'll go, like, looking, petting Flynn, like, oh, you look good. You, you are you are proper. You are... I think you have... Yeah. This is your night. <laughs> I, I think it's... I think it's not... Oh, God, no, I wasn't... I'm not, I'm not prepared for that yet. I'm just, like, it's, it's for the future. No, no, no. Calm, calm, calm. That's... <laughs> No better time than now. Just, just go for it. And I always take my flute and start playing the medieval version of <laughs> fanta high fantasy medieval version of the most romantic and like mellow song that I know. Like I don't know. Like it's it's the Macarena. <laughs> oh my God. It's, 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 it's you it's can leave your hat on, baby. Yeah. It's you can leave your hat on, baby. Yeah, just like going towards if there is any music or band in there, like drop some coins to play the most romantic melody, cheap. 
music just for creating the ambience and like give two thumbs up to Flynn? I just go really, really red and then I cast greater invisibility on myself and I say, thank you, but I'm not ready yet. And I run out. <laughs> invisibly. Oh. He was not ready. <laughs> you pushed too hard. It's a good night. That's kind of sad. Uh, where you are clothes? Living... Oh, sorry. And I snap back. Yeah. I look like... Okay, so... There is someone. But... Who would be... Maybe it's you? No, I think it's Tormir. Mm -hmm. Oh, I... Okay. I, I can see that. I think we have to start dropping some hints to Tormir. No, let... Let nature take let it. No, let, natural. Let, let, Make it natural. Make it natural. No, no. We, we have been very bad at this. We should let people fly. What do you mean? You found out everything. You're awesome. <laughs> they are, but they, they, how can they fly if you don't push them out of the window? <laughs> well, if you push someone too soon, they're going to crash on the ground because they cannot deploy their wings. I mean, granted, Flynn has wings, so I see your point, but no, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, they are very capable. You, you underestimate them. But okay, uh, I I don't know if I go for you, but uh, last time you were wrong about that. Yeah, and 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 if we are wrong, what if if you are wrong to try to push Flynn into whatever? Mm. I mean, let mm. let let them do okay. their thing. Okay, okay, but I'll keep an eye on Tormir. Just keeping tabs on him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had half an intuition when saying that Flynn was into someone. We just were wrong that it was... You know. No. Oh, so at least now we have one in five chances of getting it right, so... Well, how do you count? No, it's one in two chance. I don't know, I'm not discarding you. <laughs> yeah, lie better. <laughs> oh, you sure don't want that beer now? We can no, have I'm an fine. after party in Asmar. No, no, I, I, I want to be pretty sure on working on this. It's, it's actually oh. very important. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, if you have time, I'll just disturb you later. I have some question about this book that you gave Oh, me. sure, no. Ask your question now about the book. Uh, I just, I'm pretty sure I was with the candle for like one hour and I made it move a little bit, but might be a draft. I, yeah. I'll did just... It, did, it, did it largely move or did it move up or down? It was more like Left and right? Uh, yeah, I don't that's know. the win. That's the win. Uh, can you explain me this part? Like, I just open the book and swipe and start asking, like, what this mean and what? Yep, yeah, I will spend some time with um, Evendol trying to make him understand a bit more about the book. Okay. Uh, after a couple of pints, because, you know, stress, uh, a little freshly attuned to the, uh, to the belt, uh, throughout the night, he would have had trouble picking up the, the glass, like, almost to be, af almost being afraid of shattering it, because he doesn't really know how to get a grip on things yet. 
I would go outside and train with the the blade I have, uh, but use two hands to be extra careful and just train until it's time to go to bed. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Um, Sam, while you're sitting there enjoying whatever you're drinking, I'm just watching everybody else around the way because I'm assuming there's more than just our group in here. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's hanging there's, about. There's quite a few more people in there, including one who comes up and sits down beside you. But sits down beside me at the table. Yeah, right beside you. In the uh, in the seat that Gwyn vacated when they ran screaming from the from the end. Okay. See, see, it was it wasn't just me. Too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. You lasted longer, but it's too hot. It's actually not that. It's not that hot. It's just like itchy. It's really. I have too much hair under it. <clears throat> um. It's 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 Val. So, a little, little well-earned rest and relaxation, then. Yeah, I guess so. Poor Tormir's just going to see Sam just sitting there talking to Invisibility, but uh, nobody. No, you're actually sleeping. You nodded off over your tanker. Don't worry about it. I did that. Very good work with the Stormbreaker chest. Well, I had a rough idea. It's not the easiest. I thought you would have gone by and seen him. He's still but, there. But it wasn't required, though. We had other things we had to do. Oh, well, that is true. Maybe if we go back that way, I'll go and visit. So, one Shadow Lord down. Is mm -hmm. it now two, maybe three pieces of the sword that was broken in your possession? Two? That I'm aware of. Hmm. Why? Well, you you know where the others are. Mm-hmm. I know where a lot of things are. <clears throat> Why'd you give me tough information the last time? Do you think that I'm all seeing, all knowing? That even I make mistakes. Mistakes that nearly killed half the party. I can't apologize. You probably won't accept it, but there you are. No, no, it's fine, you know. Everybody's safe, we're all here. For now. You know, everybody seems to be okay, so... Doesn't seem to be an issue. I give you what information that I'm... allowed to give you. Mm-hmm. But even my sources can be incorrect sometimes. I get It's just a bit frustrating. Well, I can understand that. You know, I've been asking for questions and answers for days and I get nothing in return. Normally I would say something wise and cryptic about being yeah. the answer instead of seeking the answer, but I'm sure you won't accept that. Hmm. That is it a lot. You know that.
Sam, so I've, I've, ex I've explained how this works before, Sam. I'm only allowed to interfere so much. Mm hmm. So, what's happening this time? Tell you you're a bearer of bad news or are you good news today? I've come to give you a warning. As to whether it's good news or bad news, that is yet to be seen. Okay. A thing has been seen recently. Something that has not been seen in the better part of 50 years. A thing. Yes, thing. As in an object or a person? Yes. So it can be both. The last it was seen, 50 years ago, was travelling north. Do you know what lies north of here, Sam? Um, the wilds. I know that, I'm assuming. Exactly. The last time it was seen, it was travelling to the north into the unknown wilds. And now it seems it's returned. Mm-hmm. Is there something that's in Moradin's interest? Everything is in Moradin's interest. But this is a thing of... chaos. It can be good, it can be evil, it can be nothing at all. Well, I hope it's against Gitek. That is the good question, isn't it? Who knows what they've discovered beyond the beyond the wilds? Hmm. So is this thing on a person? Or is it a person actually? What was it before? Free. Uh free. Free? As in a tree. In a tree. The mightiest oak you have ever seen. And do you know what it is now? Even mightier oak. Okay. Do you know where it went to? Or where it's going? Roughly. That's the problem. No one can track it. But you'll know when it's near. Okay. So, you know, let me try and get this word. This, uh, this thing disappeared 50 years. It's returned back. It's, in, it's a, a large moving oak tree. And it's worthwhile going investigating it. But perhaps it is, perhaps it isn't. As I say, it is a thing of chaos. I simply wanted to warn you that it was back. What, what, what did it do before it left? It was a very strange marketplace built among the branches of a massive oak tree. Okay. And now, it moves around, traveling the realms as it will. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. Okay. Be cautious of its owner. You have met uh, Jarlaxle. Mm hmm. Imagine there being two of him. <laughs> Sam just laughs at that one. 
that could be entertaining. For the two of them, for those around them. Hmm. Anyways, you will know of it when it is nearby. The ground will shake, the thunder will roar. Okay, sounds cool. Um, I can, I'll say to those then. Perhaps, perhaps not. Oh, not even close. Oh, really? Not even close. I so how are you even... anyway? All busy, busy as always. You know you're not my only charge. Mm. Uh, I also have a question. <clears throat> you know that you've been hanging about, like, there, like, there but not there? Kind of there in the background. Yes. Does Flint have somebody like that? Flint says he's my brother. Is that right? He is. I couldn't tell you until you discovered it yourself. Does he have somebody, and she does like inverted commas, assigned to him as well? And he doesn't know? Or. Not yet. Lynn has never asked for help. Okay. I'm sure if he was to ask. Yes, there would be someone. Okay, okay. Just wondering. Anyways, your friends are starting to poke fun at you. You're drooling into your tankard. Okay. <laughs> so, consider yourself warned. When the walking tree comes near, have caution. What? Well, what's the worst that could happen? Anything. That's about what I miss. Okay. That you blink your eyes and you're looking at Tormir. I fall asleep again, didn't I? It appeared like that, yes. Was I talking? Or was I just. Just sleeping? mumbling. Okay, okay. Uh, I wasn't able to, to gather anything from it. You're probably yeah. just like <clears throat> thinking about what we should do next or stuff like that. I don't know. But yeah. Hmm. You didn't say anything, anything special, anything important. It I has been like a... a few rough days, so so I can uh, yeah, understand you falling weird... asleep. A couple of weird dreams, stretching it out. I need to think about it overnight. This is just your way. Once I get everybody together, I'll speak to you. Okay, sure. I don't think it'll be overly. Well, I don't know. It could be interesting. Oh, I'm I'm intrigued. Is everybody else at the table? Are they all away there? Yeah, that's. Yeah. I need to think about no. it more. I've got to try and decipher these thoughts. <clears throat> but that was about it, really. I will probably also just head to bed and yeah, get a good night's uh, rest. All right. Well, if no, oh, Flynn's not there, the Lou's not there. If nobody else has anything else they want to do, take a long rest, and we'll call it a night and a new day. It's good. Oh, sweet seventh level spell slot. There you are again. <laughs> All one of you. 
This is my ticket to family. This is my ticket home. Just Boss level spell slot again. Woo! Yes! Go, Tobia! <laughs> <laughs> By the yes, way, yes. do we see you sli like slowly turning into ice lately again because of, you know, the one time you sold your soul last? You're not turning into ice? Oh, I'm wondering if the rules were the thing is, Flynn wasn't there for that, so I, he wouldn't know. But I'm just wondering if we would notice. I would notice, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, he, would, oh, he would definitely, he would definitely notice. <laughs> because when we fought the gargoyles, remember there was this one large yeah. demon that he that just seems like it seems like it died the moment. Uh... Maybe if it wouldn't have died, or the soul hasn't wouldn't have gone to uh, <laughs> Ezreal, then I would become then eyes you would again. Be so. eyes, but you're not. That's exactly. so intriguing. So here, Don't here, get the rules of this. Here's 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 the trick behind the wording of the uh, wording of the bow. It must have a soul. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. We're all done for breakfast. <laughs> Everybody's down for breakfast. Spiced, spiced potatoes. potatoes. Hey guys, I like oh, the wheel district before I went to bed. Huh? Okay. Right, you, you know that I usually speak to Val and you know, like the the person sometimes you see me speaking to and not speaking to and whatever. <clears throat> and they were saying like yesterday there was some magical being item tree thing. Apparently it's a large oak. And it disappeared for like fifty years and apparently it's coming back. What? Yeah, do you know anything about that? Yeah, in Shadowvale. Well, <coughs> I don't know where it's coming back to. It was just near sighted that it hidden coming out the 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 wherever it is. I have seen a lot of oak trees. The unknown wilds. Apparently, it's been sighted about that area. But I've never seen an oak tree move on me. Oh, change position out of the blue. So no, I've not heard anything of that, but that sounds crazy. Trees aren't there to move. Well, apparently this thing is like kind of magical. And the, the only times I've seen trees moving was due to wind. Exactly. Yeah. Or due to people cutting them down. I heard yeah. a story once of a bard that was so good that he could get the trees to dance. But that's Yeah, just that was a lie. Right? I've never well, seen trees dance. I'm working on it, sweetie. I'm working. But yeah. Um, Tell me when you've done it. Weird. I want to see that. Did, one day. Did did Val say if that tree was dangerous? Or on the tech she, side? for Bionicle? She can out does this kind of... It wah, wah, wah. could be? The Donkey Kong, it's called. It's like a few of them. in his book. A giant tree that moves. No. No. I, well, Sam, are you sure that your informations are correct and he didn't mean something else? Maybe he just misspoke and he didn't mean a tree. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time with this guy. <laughs> they said it was a thing. They said it wasn't a person. They said it wasn't an item. They said it was a thing. It was a large oak tree. Apparently, it also has a marketplace as well. What? Oh, it has a... What? <laughs> the tree has a marketplace. Uh-huh. This mm -hmm. thing must be massive. Like, massive, massive. Well, then we should probably hear when it comes near us, right? Because... Yeah, well, that that's basically what they said. They said that it's going to be there and... You'll know it before you... Slivik. Oh, you'll feel it. Yeah. Is there anything uh, like that in your brain as regards magical trees or trees that, I don't know. In um, As a sailor, we used to have superstitions about, about creatures that, uh, well, you've heard of it, the mighty kraken, but it's not native to, to 
to the to the seas around here. Legends said it was from elsewhere. Is is that something that could happen to a tree as well? To grow so big, it has a marketplace. Well, some trees can have their own mind for sure. You can have actually quite a nice conversation with them. Um, some trees have been bended into moving and eventually attacking people if you basically piss off piss them off and piss where they live um but something that would travel a large distance um and that will seek something and come back after 50 years it sounds that can host Market. <laughs> um. But if there's a market, isn't that doesn't that mean there's people? It can't be the tree who runs the entire marketplace. Well, yeah, apparently it has an owner. You know. Um. <laughs> so you know, I don't know how it works. It's things beyond me. So but you know, I don't know. They say they have a market, but maybe they're just selling fruit off the tree, even though the tree's supposed to be an oak. Have any fruit, but you never know these. Things. I mean, oaks do have like they have fruits. Just that they usually. I mean, you can eat them. I think I don't know. You can. Yeah. Right. But you would also like eat the babies of the trees. That is something you need to consider when eating fruits. It's technically yes, not that's babies. That's something it's, you need to consider when you eat anything. Uh... It's the um, what? It's what's <laughs> just before? Anything you eat has been something at some point. It's just that's just how it is. Yeah. What do you mean you eat baby trees? I I I, I don't I, I don't I don't eat seeds. I don't eat twigs. Haven't you, you ever don't eat seeds? Haven't, haven't you ever seen broccoli? Broccoli is baby trees. <laughs> yeah, it's wee trees. For crying out loud. DM, that is a bold assumption, DM, that Aluna's ever eaten broccoli. That is a bold <laughs> assumption. That, that's true. Damn. And he probably yes, hasn't eaten that him. many fruits in his life. Yeah, boy, we need to get him more veggies. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, as a sailor, no way. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Oh, God. No. Oranges. He's all about the citrus, man. All about the citrus. You gotta stave off the scurvy. Mm hmm. But maybe if we see it or, or hear it, it might be worthwhile investigating it, to be honest. Yeah, I, I would like to see an oak tree moving. In the end, it even can speak our tongue. And if it, if it, if it could move and it is powerful and it is, oh, well, yeah, powerful, maybe. It could give us, maybe it sheds its skin and maybe that could be used to, to purpose, to repurpose something. Possible. Is that not it's like a the, or now something the, like well, that? Is that? Uh, Jim, not, not only did I, not only did I buy that Kickstarter, our group has been selected to test play. No way! Oh, that is awesome. Okay. No spoilers then. Oh no, no, oh, spoilers. no spoilers. Um, even even if you read the Kickstarter page, you you know bits, but you know nothing about what's inside. Cause no, nah. man, I have, I have got the first few chapters. Wow, they went all out. No, but I, I, I knew this because I almost backed it, actually. Shouldn't I thought it was very interesting. Head on anyways, to anyways, Asma, anyways. maybe we will find out if the if the tree comes, I guess, because it's really big and people will see it coming, but we could go and um, do stuff and then meet up for, for, for lunch or something in uh, Asma's 
market and I can teach y'all guys and you can can meet my friend who I told a lot of stories about you. Maybe. Is, what? What? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. Is there are there any uh and I turn to Sam and you know Slivic because nerds. Uh are there any mentions of trees related to Gitek? No. No, where of? The 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 Valdra said that the tree was a bit maybe a bit chaotic, but then who hasn't these days, eh? But again, um, it's a tree, so I'm pretty sure be. he said it was a tree. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I was a bit tired. Hmm. It's been busy. I love how she's keeping the information about the. Are you sure Val isn't one of those people <laughs> who says tree, but they mean the number three? Yeah. Because I've met some of those people, and it is impossible to understand. <laughs> <laughs> like three people can lead a traveling marketplace, like with the caravans. She, oh. Sam just giving you the look, like, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh. Cool. Shenanigans over. We can we can do stuff, productive stuff now. All right. Okay. Hey, Who's teleporting? Everybody back to Asmar. Okay. Thank you. Everybody, everybody back to Asmar. Okay, I need to speak to your friend for two seconds when we get to Asmar. What? Uh, yeah. Where are you teleporting? Are you teleporting us outside the gate or inside town? <laughs> no, inside. I don't care. Oh god, fucking damn uh... it. We, I'm, t I'm TPing uh, right outside Nithos' uh, home. Okay, let's just hope nobody thinks we're breaking into town. Well, what technically, they, they never saw us leave, so they still okay, think so we're in, in it. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but they'll see right, us. Right about there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Put on the second tab with actual map. Yeah, sorry. Um, sure. But yeah, uh, would it take long? Two seconds. <laughs> no, no, fine, fine, fine. Of course. Okay. And I spoke to Val yesterday, you know, because I always told you that Val's always there, kind of, in the background. Mm. I'm glad and you did. I hope it he, he was saying that even though you can see him and he's not assigned to you, um, you don't actually have anybody there, but you could if you wanted. That was all. Okay. Uh, <coughs> did... Okay, did he, did you tell him, like, did he apologize at all for leading us into the completely wrong way and not mm -hmm. responding to you for days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. Why? Just, just making sure that he's treating you right. He's kind of, yeah, uh, yeah he, he's not getting more than he's going to be all right. He just says he was sorry and, um... Sometimes he gets bad information too. Hmm. Well, I guess that's fair. Not, too, not too bad this time, I think. But we're still here. Still good. Oh, uh, another thing. Did you want to tell the others that we related yet? Correct. <laughs> well, Alu knows, but as far as I know, nobody else knows, right? I could just tell them. I don't think that's an issue, I mean, do you? I... You know, I, I, I usually... Yeah. You know, I, I don't really lie that much, and... But I, I really don't try and withhold information, either. If you ask no. the right answer, but... It's it's just more like... The, I think it's more the, the name that I want to... Okay. It's, I mean, it's not that I don't trust them, it's just, like, the more people know... The more people can be tortured for information. You really tell me it's not weird. What? 
You need to tell me what weird crap you've got yourself into. At some point, maybe. Simple as this, as far as I'm concerned, they all know that I'm part Celeste thing, and that's the biggest secret I've ever got. If I trust them, I'll tell them that, you know. Yeah. Well, the, the, one of the reasons was just if they find me, they will not know that you're connected to me, so they won't do anything to you. Mm hmm See you soon. Okay. You can uh, try, bitch. <laughs> no problems. You didn't say you were whispering, so... I looked around to make mm -hmm. sure nobody was around. Um, no, you didn't say that. She did. Oh, you did? Yeah, did. she did. She did. Um, she in did. the beginning. Oh, that's fine then. Okay, I missed it. Got um, Okay. Uh, well, uh, thanks for letting me know. Are you Are you okay? Where are you going? Are you What's your plans? I don't know. I mean, I don't know yet. I might go to the well, forge. Either we'll go to the later. forge or we'll go to see the temple. See how it goes. Uh, haven't decided. See what everybody else is doing. It's just, you don't seem very happy about either of those options. And I'm, yeah, I want you to be happy. What can we do to make it, to make you feel better? Well... No, it's fine. Uh, I'm just a bit worried if I, I go to the temple, I don't get back out. So, you know, I'll make two sessions later on in five or ten minutes once I work out what everybody else is doing. <laughs> but you want to go back out when you go there. You want to come back out and go with us. Yeah. Yeah, well, then you'll do it. What's the problem? It's easier said than done. I might go to the forge first, see what happens there. I don't know. Okay. See, we'll see. Well, I'll have you to don't... think it out first. If you don't turn up, we'll know where to look for you. Yeah, I've got to be one or two places. It's not, I've not got to go. Don't worry. They're, I know it's turned inside and out. It'll be good. No one's keeping you against your will. You can go wherever you want to. It's not and case you're... keeping me against, it's more of what I feel like I need to go and do. If I go to okay. the temple, you know, uh, Asma's just been taken, get rid of New Four, whatever her name is, and, you know, they, they need help. And I'm scared if I go to the temple, I might get stuck there. We can happen different ways. Yeah, but... <coughs> I'm a cleric, Flynn. That's what I do. I know. But if I'm going there, I'm leaving you guys all my stuff, though. Because, um, the stuff's pretty good. Somebody can get good use of it. We'll see Just... what happens. Yeah. Well, if I never, if I never said anything either way, so I never asked. But I'll get changed for Before I do anything. Yeah, he just looks out at the, the rags that she's always wearing. Like, yeah, I got my good stuff from, yeah? Sounds, sounds like a good idea. Maybe you should just throw this away. This is just like... I, I'm, unless it has emotional value, but you know. I got my, I got my good stuff there. <coughs> the box. Yeah. It's, it's there. It, it, this is not good stuff. Maybe this is just... This good medium. stuff that you gave me. It's good. It's normal clothing. Well, it's good. Yes. At one, po at, at one day, I will get you actual good stuff and you will know the difference. Um, mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> okay. I, I, I got a dash. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Chops. What? Does anyone know this place? I know it. Fun though, is it? I need to go to the forge, but it's like halfway across the other side of the city if you want to come with me. Let's get shops round about there. Uh, oh. If I 
if I see Flynn dashing, I would like to run for him. Okay. Huh? What? Uh, yeah, uh, I would just like, uh, mind if I tag along? Uh, um, I... You don't... Let's, let's go. Like okay to me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, and... <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how to explain it, it's private, ah! Uh, no, ah, okay. uh, just... Uh, no, just, yeah. You okay, can okay, show okay. me the seat, you can talk, mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. around. I have a, I have a place, I have to go first, uh... Sure, uh, I'll, I'll not bother you, you can... Okay, 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 let's go, let's go, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, just quickly, sorry for yesterday if I came too harsh. Oh, oh no problem, no problem. I, yeah, I don't you... even remember what you're talking about. Um, everybody, see you guys for lunch. Uh, marketplace, don't remember, don't be late. Uh, remember, don't be late and stuff. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> you're like, he's clearly like, with his mind is completely And he literally does not remember you doing anything wrong. <laughs> I'm just talking on random and asking around. I see, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, DM, I have a question. Where is. You, you said the places I, um, I visited or frequented when I was there were mainly south of the city, right? Yeah, it should be down in the dock ward. And where is Hawkwinter Villa? Within the North Wall, where would it be? I'm pretty sure I gave you, uh, give you some you free said addresses. You said Hawkwinter Villa in the North Wall. Right, it's on uh, it's on Tower March Road. Oh God, where the fuck? Oh, by the way, if uh, you if you said that you were going in the morning, I would have given you the toys that I bought for the kids. I don't know if you told us though. You know, Ali, if you want to go past there, the the temple for Moradin's not far from there. It's just I need to go to the forge first. Oh, well, I can go. It's up to you. I can go to I Temple can go first. Shopping. I can go shopping with Slivik or something and then head there and meet you along the way, I guess. Um, well, where we are there now, if we go, like, um, further I don't down this area this... of the city, so... Yeah, so if, if where we are here, we're at this humble thing or whatever it is, if we go down this big long street called Traders Way, it takes you to a big massive marketplace. I'm assuming that's where Flynn says that we're going to meet. Um, uh -huh. You have to go from there to Tower March is roughly I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes walk maybe. Basically and... up the big main road that we came in, the high road. And then you turn to the right, but it's probably about a 20 minute walk from there. Um, and and how, how, Slivik, where do you want to go shopping? Uh, I don't care. We just need diamonds and potions. <laughs> the market's probably the best place for you guys because they've got lots of shops around about there. Um, there's a smaller market street further up north as well. On Desorian yeah. Street, or what it's called. It's not far yeah, from Pillar it, March. We, we uh, just to yeah. make sure we have most of the utilities we need. Do you um, need diamonds, uh, Sam? Sam, you, you would know that uh, the majority of the specialty shops that they would be looking for as far as uh, magic, magic potions and things of that nature are more down in the trades ward. The open, air, the open air market is literally that. Think one of our big open air markets that we have. It's, it's literally everybody sets up and they're selling like $5 shoes and handbags. I'm talking and, shit then. <laughs> in, in, including oh. it's including diamonds for spells and that probably yeah oh, oh, that's right. that's literally that's everything transport is like the the nicer shopping district and then southern ward also has a bunch of businesses but it's not as like fancy and you don't probably diamonds would be transport 
I'm going down to the trade spot anyway. Yeah, I mean, okay, so then I'll come. I'll come with you, and when you go to the, I'll go to the. We'll pass the market, but the market's for tourists apparently. You'll get okay. fleeced there. Oh, you won't get fleeced. I mean, you can buy cheap fruit and veg, but you want basically we'll just hit the high road and follow the high road. I'll take us to trade. I'll go with Sam. until we reach Tower March. Okay, Tower March is the opposite direction of the way Sam's going. I thought she said the mansion was somewhere near where she. Oh no, that's, that's, near the near, that's near the temple, <laughs> not near the forge. That's what I'm saying. Either we go north or we go to south. I've got two places I need to go to. But sadly, they're not next to each other. Well, the... what would you prefer? Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but what's the point in going south, then north, then south? When you can just go north and south. Well, that's what I'm saying. Where do you want to go? North. I cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I counter spell. Tormir's over there going, oh my god, just put me back in the woods. <laughs> you know, I see, I see Sam hesitating and I just start walking north. Okay, fine. All right, give me two seconds. And Sam just like... I take it new four houses, it's still empty. Are we still standing outside it? Yeah, no, it's still empty. Sam just goes in there and, like, for ten minutes, she goes and takes her armor off and puts her normal clothing on. <laughs> and she's just like, where the hell is Evendal? She's doffing. She's doffing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have, like, normal clothing on and I'm carrying, like, all my armor and stuff I've just chucked in a bag. Okay. Right, okay. Um, We'll go to the... We'll go up to Tower March then. All right, so I'll let's off there. So let's go do let's go do Flynn's thing first, because what about Tomia? Where's Tomia going? I don't know. Tormier's Tormier's like you stuff. don't know. <laughs> exactly. You don't know. Doesn't matter. Where's Slivet going? I didn't want you to feel left out. I'm I I'm following the group. I just want to take care about the shipping for everybody. That's I don't have anything specific in here to do. So I'm just taking care of uh, everybody's. Utilities to make sure everybody is full back up because we're gonna need some. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's go. Let's go do Flynn's thing. Um, we went south. That's right. <clears throat> you went. You went south. You're on your way down to. Uh... Um. Can yeah. Can we take? It's a long way walk, right? Yeah, but you can. You can get. Let's a, take a carriage. You can take a carriage. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, it's it's a silver anywhere in the city. Um, subtract that. And then I, I will, yeah. I can pay. I, no, it's fine. I, I already, I already paid. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, we go to the south, the southern ward, all the way down. Yep, all the way down here. So, you, you're going to love me for this one. You, did you make a fucking rap off the place? <laughs> oh, no, you did not. Okay, so everybody's characters are here is just so everybody can see the uh, oh, everybody no. can see what's going on and see the map and everything, and nobody's just sitting there looking at a black play. screen. Game <laughs> cry. Um. <clears throat> All right. Does it have a roof yet? <laughs> uh, there is actually a roof being constructed as we speak. There is scaffolding up, and there are workers crawling all over the roof. You see new woodworkers going in. They've got new shingles ready to be put in place. This is loud. No naps. Oh, no Not naps. Good. All right. I, um, I, I don't know. Do I usually, do I usually knock or do I usually just walk into the like front room? Um, uh, where are we, Flynn? Um, just, just taking care of some, some stuff. Remember this guy, uh, 
who Jack said that he was the one who led the charge, you know, ah. the one who freed Asma and stuff, uh, the guy who led, leads an orphanage. Uh, this is the orphanage he's leading. His name is oh. Um He's the manager or professor. Yes. Yeah. Proprietor, okay. manager. And runs you, this place. you know him. I know him. I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, the kids are all right. So I knock on the door. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, will, I think you want to do this alone. So I'll wait outside. If, or you, if you need me, you can just shout. Yep, and, sounds good. Yeah, don't worry. I'll be, I'll just sit in the fence, like with the legs, jumping in, <laughs> waiting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's okay. times like these when I remember that Evendal's actually, like in elven years, he's younger than me. <laughs> okay, um, there's, there's no answer at the door. <clears throat> okay, I, I try to open the door. The door's open. Busy. Walking. Oh, red. I'm uh, is his office the right or the left door? Um, his his office is technically as soon as you walk in. When you look to the right, you see his his desk where he sits there. And... Oh right, huh? Red. Don't. Uh, do I know? Uh, okay, so I know what's behind the two doors. I assume. So. Right, you know that that, that door leads that door leads into the kitchen, where the door in front of you mm. leads into the hallway, which leads to the bathrooms, and around to the other side of the double fireplace where the uh, the children sleep. Yeah, I have a look around. Hello, anyone home? Reg. Yes. So you uh, you see one of the little girl over here in the corner with the washing. Oh right. Heyo. How you doing? Hi. How are you? Hi. I kneel down so I'm on her level. I'm looking for Reg. Do you know where he is? Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's over in the bedrooms. He's over. That's good to know. Thank you so much, sweetie. You're, welcome. You're doing great there. Hmm. What's that? You're welcome. Right. Thank you. Like, uh, go over. Is it like, is it the sore? Yeah, straight ahead. Okay. Sorry. Like, I have not seen the map, so I'm just assuming that I know where. Um. Red? You see Reg talking to a uh, very familiar, flamboyantly dressed character. Hey, Jax. How are you doing? Lynn, my dear boy, how are you? Hello, I'm doing okay. Right. Um, by the way, are any, any children in this room right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a few running around. Uh, it looks like Jaxel, Jax was actually uh, telling stories to a few. Okay. Red. May I talk to you for a second? Ah, Flynn, of course, of course. Just because uh, while uh, Mr. Benry is telling these lovely stories, uh, we might as well just like step outside the corridor just for a second. Be right back. Uh, as, as you go out, as you go out the door, you hear uh, you hear Jackson now. Back to the tale of the two brass dragons. Oh no, oh no, oh no, he's not telling- Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay, so the first thing I say after I close the door behind us is just like, Red, is he telling those children porn stories? Porn stories? Are you out of your mind? Are you? My dear Flynn, that man in there cares more for these children than I think even I do. And I oh, give great. Him everything. Then I'm, just, I'm just hoping that he's not telling them stories about sex with dragons. Oh, no, no, I've heard this story. Mm-hmm. 
I've heard a different version of it, I'm sure. Everyone has their own version, but no, no. Uh, this story, the two brass dragons actually fight off a lich. Hmm. Well, I hope he doesn't make it too creepy for the little ones. Oh, they anyway, love his stories. I'm you sure know, they he do. spends almost as much time here as I do. Loves talking with the children. Let's see. Right. Well, he's been telling us some stories when we met the other day. Quite good about that. Yes. Well, he's been telling some stories about what the children do all day. Or what they did when Ethel was in charge. Before we captured her. That was you? That was our group, yes. Oh, congratulations. And thank you. Um, A great help. Well, I see you've done, you've done quite a lot with it. Oh, I can't say that I've done that much. Made sure the little ones stay out from underfoot. Did you? Jax mentioned you were the leader of the faction that freed Asmar when he thought went away. He just, he, he sort of coughs and sputters and, and lead, I don't know about leader, but <clears throat> I might have spoken strongly against the Shadow Lord, but It's very bold, considering you didn't know she was truly gone back then, I guess. Could have gotten you in some trouble. Yes, it very well could have. But as you see, things worked out for the best. You have to have faith in these things, Flynn. I knew the mm -hmm. gods would watch out for me. Like the gods watched out for the kids that you used to spies. Now, wait just a minute. I would never do such a thing. You know me. You've known me most of my life. Well, most of Rosie's life, anyways. I would never do anything to put these children in harm's way. Inside check. Please let it be good. Oh, no. He appears to be telling the, He appears to be telling the God's honest truth. He, ha he seems to almost know nothing of what you're talking about. Hmm. Well, then why did Jax tell us stories about the children listening to Nithor's soldiers giving information? Ah. I see where you think that they've been being spies. Well, as I say, the children, they... They go out into the city, you know this. They search and beg and play and whatnot. And Jax, he has a way of making them remember things that they've seen, things that they think aren't important, but thus they are. He simply sits and speaks with them. One of them happened to see one of Nifor's gods do something to somebody. He didn't think it was very important, but Jax did. Do you know if he sent them out actively to do this? Or did he just use what they already saw? My dear boy, I don't think Jax has a violent bone in his body. At least not where the children mm. are concerned. Not violent, no, but... Scheming? Oh, that one is full of plans. Plans within plans, but... Well, he may use the information that the children have gathered on their own. I don't think he would have forcibly sent them any. Right. Well, we'll have to talk to him about that then, I guess. He visits with them. He brings them toys. I think, even though he denies it, I believe he is mostly responsible for the new roof going on the building. Hmm. Though so he says the yeah, children well, live... Oh, he says the children leaving in harsh conditions are good for them. It builds character, makes them stronger. I think it's just yeah, like, well, I just think it's a higher chance for them to catch a cold. 
It's true. Well, look, I'm sorry. I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to, to pitch in more over the past month. It's been crazy. We've been up on a mountain far away from society, but, um, I, I will find a way to pitch in more. I do have, I, I have something that I will leave behind here again. I, I do think I sent you some like 200 gold plus or something the other day. Oh yes. Yes. Hope that yes. helps a little bit. Oh, yes, we received it. The children have been eating quite well, thanks to it. Ah, oh, thank God. Um, because, like, when he said that Jax visits all the time, so much jealousy, like, all the jealousy, but he's trying not to show it, but God, this man sees his dog. Right, um, well, I guess I'll talk to Jax about that. Look, I'm sorry um, for being so aggressive about this. It's just, you know... When Jack said he used ch kids as spies, and I was uh, assuming that you knew about it. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Just... Oh, think nothing of it. The threat has passed. Not for now. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to to go to to temple later, maybe can get some volunteers to come come by and help us. Oh, did you see the men on the roof? Uh, oh, yeah. That's only half of the workforce has been here. The other yeah. half should be around in a few hours. They're repointing the walls. They're actually going to stop leaking air. Mm, neat. Well, that's good then. And the okay, mayor has right. just... And the mayor has promised us real glass for our windows. That's good. That's good. Oh god, I wish I could be here more often. Anyway, um is uh is Rosie around? I'm sorry, my dear. Rosie has gone out to play this morning. Ah god. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Um I'll I guess I'll be back then she'll probably be be in for lunch right she will indeed right i want to take her out for lunch if she wanted to but i wanted to ask her if she wanted to first so i guess i'll uh wait unless you know where she went like she you didn't let her go out alone right at her age no no some of the older children are with her they say where they went at all I think today is Baker's Day. <coughs> All right. Well, I can I can go and see if I can collect them or her there. No, old and John has a old John has a bit of a soft spot for the children. I'll fresh, get them some treats today. Fresh baked treats. You you see him cock his head to the side. Ah, it seems that. Mr. Jax is finishing up his story, if you wish to speak with him. Uh, sure, sure. Um, I'll just uh, wait in the hallway <laughs> to see if Jax comes out, back out. <laughs> or if he doesn't put my head around the corner. Uh, Jax, a uh, word, maybe? Ah, Flynn. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, my dear children, if you will excuse me, we will see you again soon. And he moves up and out into the hallway. Hey. Um, and my boy. Yes. How, how did you ever know that I would be here? I did not. Are I did not expect to be here. Are you following me? <laughs> not in this case, no. Maybe some other day. Um, but no, today I'm here on different business. And in fact, um, it, it does have something to do with you, but uh, I did not expect to meet you here. But since you are, I might as well ask you a question. You were talking about the kids gathering info for you on the street. Indeed. Unbeknownst to them, of course. Yes, of course. Well, you do see that it's quite dangerous, right? 
course it is, but the most looked over are those uh, that are the most downtrodden. The children. Because I'm not talking about that it's not useful for you. I'm talking about that it's dangerous for them. Posh. Dangerous for them. These children know more about these streets than you and I ever will. You're in more yes. You are in more danger of having your purse removed from your person than any of these children ever would be. Again, yes, useful for you, but you know what Nithor did to anyone. All ages, every day. They catch those kids listening in on soldiers. They're not being actively taught to lie. And if they are, they shouldn't be. They're not it's being not a life a, a child should lead. They're not being actively taught to spy either. The children see everything, even if they don't realize they've seen it. It's just a matter of asking the right questions, hearing what they've done, having the patience to sit and listen to what they have to say. You make it sound so nice. But it was. But, the children went but what are you doing here? The children went about their everyday business, doing what they do every day, and I would simply sit down and talk to them about their day. Speaking of, Flynn, how was your day? Hmm. Hopefully getting better soon. Okay, so listen, I see. I see that it's useful for you, and I see that it's useful for the Rebellion Council and the war. And I see that some children have a wrath. And some think that this is a good school for children, and they should grow up like this because it builds character. And I don't think so. I think children should be allowed to be children. As I should absolutely these. agree. You're building an army of spies from a young I'm, age. I'm they will be trained to listen to you, to let you listen to your stories, do what you say, tell them everything they know. And once you know, like, as soon as you know it, they are adults and they are still telling you stories and still working for you. Nonsense. These children do not work for me. And I do not tell them where to go or what to listen for. Yet. And I never will. You don't understand the hierarchy of where I came from. You have no, no I don't. inkling of what it means to be an orphan child in the city of Drow. No, I don't. All these, I know is that I want these orphans these children, to be able to be children. These children not used. live in the lap of luxury. I live in your lap. And I'm not sure if I... I find that most offensive. And I'm not one easily offended. I take this as proof that you're genuinely caring about them, so... That's a point for you. Do you think this is the only orphanage in all of Asmar? I know for a fact that it's not. And do you think I, I know it very well? Do you think I spend my days here just because I want to? This is the rhetorical question. Indeed, it is. Yes, you're, you're saying you you are spending time here because you like the kids. And don't use them. Let them be kids. But they are being kids. I bring them gifts. I make sure they are fed. Or someone else makes sure they are fed as well. Apparently a very generous donation of several hundred gold came in not too long ago. Yeah. Reg and I were talking about that. But you must understand... Listen, it's just... You must yeah. understand, Flynn. My upbringing was unwanted. 
I did not have the luxury of being a child, of going outside and playing as I wish. And I'm sorry for... Even as an orphan. And I am doing what little I can to ensure that these children have that chance. Even if it is to ask them questions about where they've been and what they've seen and what they've overheard, I don't ask them to gather this information for me. I simply use it to make sure that they stay safe. Can I make an inside check on him at this point? You're going to, you're going to fail just miserably. I know, but is he like just trying to convince me to let it go, or does he really believe it? Is my point. No, it's, let's it's, see if I can. Go ahead, make your inside check. Yeah, it's just a nineteen, so it's probably not going to work against his like a terrible high deception or persuasion or whatever it is. I mean, his charisma is pretty high. Yeah, I mean, and... my charisma is pretty high, but it's Jacks. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 Jacks, but. In, in all honesty, he, he honestly does care about the children. He thinks this is the right thing to do, which makes it even worse. And he, oh, and he, he, on, he honestly <laughs> believes that by using the information the children are giving him to keep the children safe, mm. that he's doing what he can to protect them. Mm, he really believes this. Okay. Right. Well, like I said, I'm very sorry what happened to you and you didn't deserve it and no one deserves it no you are very right but no one deserves it but just because you were treated badly it doesn't give anyone the right to treat anyone else badly as well just if any of these kids ever get hurt while in your services But that's just it. They're not in my service. I think a child who knows that nice Uncle Jax comes by and asks your questions won't go a little further than they should have to get those infos so they so Uncle Jax can be proud of them when they tell the next story. Child that has nobody that loves them except for Reg, the other kids. Child that has no parents, spends their days on the streets looking for someone, anyone to listen to them, to their stories, be interested in their day? I know you think you're not doing anything. I'm just asking you to think about it. Mithor is gone. Maybe you can use adult people to ask them. My and just ask the kids because you're interested. My dear Flynn, these children mean the world to me. And believe me, I have an army of spies roaming this place, asking the questions that no one wants to ask, asking the questions of those who don't want to answer. And believe me, if you don't want to answer what I ask, things tend to get broken. Namely fingers, arms, legs, jaws. You get my drift. Yes. I would never in my life, as long as it has been, anything to harm a child. He's just directly, thinking to himself, like, yeah, directly he has a or indirectly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand, I think. Well, I'm hoping that despite our different views on life, we can still be friends. I'm very happy My that dear you friend, are helping them. I'm Jorlaxel. I'm everybody's friend. Yes, well. Just still hoping to have you as, as much of a friend as you've been. Oh man, it is getting later than I thought it was. You it is. Of, um, let me... Bastards. <laughs> Let me uh, then get you, get to your own business. I will take this comment into the game and just leave it there. <laughs> and I have uh, someone I'm looking for as well, um, some other business to tend to. So 
was nice chatting with you. So I'm just going to, I'm going I'm to speed things along myself because we're getting ready to end yeah. our session here. Um, Sorry. I'll leave some, some, like some money on the desk. Cause... So I got, you... I got 300 gold. I'll leave them 300 gold. Okay. So as you go back out into the streets, headed to look for, uh, for Rosie. Um, there's a faint sound in the air. More felt than heard. A tremor under your feet. Looking down into a rain-filled puddle, you see ripples each time you hear this massive thud. It seems to be coming from the far north of the city. Nothing you've ever heard before. The rest of you, it's much, much louder. You've, you've heard it for the last 20 minutes or so coming closer. Almost sounds like the steps of a thundering of a thundering storm as it moves closer to the city, but too rhythmic. Just thud, 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 one after another. You notice a great deal of the populace rushing towards the walls. Looking out to the north. And as you, uh, as you make your way through the crowds and find your way to the stairs and up the walls, you finally behold outside the northern gates. A massive oak tree standing upon four mechanical legs. You see a building made of glass winking in the sunlight in its canopy. Bright pennants and flags waving from its branches. And that's where we're going to call it a session. Told you it was a giant tree. Not I mean, sure you can still consider that a tree, but. Com compared to the, you know, houses we can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my scale... Uh, DM, DM, just qu question... My, my uh, scale may be uh, just a little off, but... Uh, because Flynn's interaction... By the time Flynn got to that end of the city, it, we easily had half an hour. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So can we, can we retcon just buying regular potions and diamonds? Or do yeah. We... Or do you want to because roll we... that next time? Do you, I mean, uh... there's no... <laughs> Do you want to do you want to buy do you want to buy just regular potions and diamonds or do you want to visit the markets and No, I just want to well, I personally just want to go do the errands we actually need and then good to go. It would be fun doing a shopping episode, but I don't know if next week the time we spent together I being a shopping yeah, episode. Let, honestly, let's yeah. not reunite yeah. after 2 years and yeah. some shopping. I yeah, want to kill we... something. I mean, yeah. Is that okay with oh, you? We, can we... we just say Sam went to the, did what she had to do. I dropped the, I dropped the commander's letter off to his family and what. Or do you really want to do that next week? With no, no, everyone? no, no. That's no, that's fine. We can we can go through all that and uh, and say that you guys uh, you stopped by and bought potions and diamonds, dropped off the letter. The the wife was very happy to know that her husband was still alive and that he was walking the right path again. That's fine. 
and Sam with the forge and the temple. Oh, well, it's a temple. I guess there might be things there, but yeah, the, tem- the temple might be a little different. But uh, you know, maybe she- maybe she went to a te- went to the temple at a different time. I mean, up to you. It's just for next. I wouldn't have asked this if if we were playing over Discord next week, but we're not. No, we're not playing over Discord next week. We are playing live next week, and we have no way to stream it, so. <clears throat> so, Let's sorry, see. not sorry, Twitch. Yep, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, let me, let me. Yeah, let sorry me... for taking up so much time. No, that's no fine. No problem. What do you mean? I... So, let me, let me, let me see here. Um, let me give you, let me give you guys some good descriptors. Um... Um, <clears throat> so it's clear to see how visitors can get lost aboard Syrian's marvelous creation. <clears throat> Winding walkways wrap their way skyward, slipping over enormous branches and burrowing through thickets. With every meter traveled, a new oddity demands attention. Buildings of all shapes and materials burst through the massive tree trunk. Copper pipes rattle as they weave in and out of the bark and the small mechanized contraptions with heads of colorful ferns winding, wadding their way to and from their destination. The marketplace is not just alive, it is thriving. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that Kickstarter. <laughs> there we go. Kickstarter. Now we kicked oh. it in your head. <laughs> it, was, it was the word marketplace and Syrian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Syrian. We, have, we have been selected to test place Syrian's marvelous walking marketplace and test play awesome. it we sh- test play it we shall uh we have the first few chapters um i'm not allowed to share the files with you guys it's it's part of the test play agreement no it's super fine yeah I can, but i can absolutely i can absolutely share the information with you guys through gameplay uh this is this That's is good. The, this is the first of about 20 maps that I'm working on for Syrians, and this is just supposed to be like a, a top down view of the tree. So it's got, it's got some really nice stuff in it. Uh, I don't know if we'll explore any of Syrians next Thursday. Yeah. I, I, I think we, we might do something a little more off shootish. I think everybody just wants to kill stuff live. It's no point in having a shopping episode when we're actually all together, we should, we should go kill things. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, there's some pretty cool things to do in Syria. Oh, there's so many cool things to do in Syrians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, one of the, one of the things, is... one of the things I've loved about it is literally the fact that I can just drag and drop it right into my campaign. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, such let's, a say, let's let's say goodbye to Twitch real quick, and then we can have some discussion afterwards. Uh, I know uh, Anon wanted to talk to me about something. To to all of you. Okay. All right. So we'll say goodnight to Twitch. Thank you guys so much. You will see us again live on Twitch in two weeks, as next week we're all gathering in Paris to play live for like seventy two hours straight because these guys are maniacs. No, and, uh, we are the normals. And uh, again, yeah, I am I not am. bringing. I am not bringing this dress to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> but another one. Bye, Twitch. Bye, Twitch. Bye. We'll see Bye. you all in two weeks. <laughs> Bye.